She is no Jedi. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you're new to the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button. We like to talk a whole variety of topics. If you like this video, feel free to force push that like button. Let's get right into it, shall we? The Ahsoka show is on the horizon. We can see it in August. It's coming up. I mean, it's August. It's still a little while away. But time has a tendency to fly. And why do I bring this up? Because we got some... Two really cool new characters coming up in the Ahsoka show. Let's have a night sister. Oh, but we do have a night sister. And we got a couple of dark Jedi, our first ever dark Jedi to grace our television set in live action. Also our first night sister too. But dark Jedi, let's get right into the dark Jedi. Balin Skull and Shin Hati. These are our two dark Jedi and they seem to be on a mission with their orangey lightsabers looking badass as always. Very, you got a Darth, reminiscent of Darth Vader hallway scene coming up with Shaylin. And they look badass. But I wanted to talk just briefly today about their fates in this series. Obviously, they have to perish. At some point, these characters no longer exist. They play, they do not factor into the sequel trilogy whatsoever. They're not even around for the original trilogy, but we will allow that to pass. So who are they? What are they? What is the point of them? We're going to find out more. Uh, but they are dark Jedi. And it's said that Shin Hati actually is a survivor, a Jedi survivor of Order 66, which is unusual for her to be able to become a dark Jedi as opposed to a Inquisitor, which uh, all surviving Jedi, that's what they become after Order 66. So let's get into this now. This show is very much a Rebels sequel in a lot of ways. At least that's what it looks like on the surface. And Rebels had this obsession with wolves, if you remember. Dave Filoni loves his wolves. Skull and Hattie are two wolves who chase the sun and the moon in Norse mythology. Very on brand for David Filoni. And this could be a deeper meaning than we suspect. If you watch Rebels, you know that these wolves on Lothal, which who are said to have almost the spirits of the Jedi who had fallen on Lothal, be emerged in them. Their souls become one with these wolves. If you think the possibility that these two characters or one of these two characters could possibly fall on Lothal, may possibly be redeemed on Lothal and their soul and the force unite and become a Lothwolf in the Ahsoka show. It doesn't seem that far-fetched to me. Or perhaps now, Lothwolves are to dark Jedi what force ghosts are to the light Jedi. It seems like this is a possibility, a Dave Filoni possibility. Of course, this could be something that plays out in the 2026 or whatever movie we're getting, or maybe it doesn't at all, but this is just something that's come to a lot of attention. You name these characters after these wolves in Norse mythology, and you have wolves who embody the spirits of fallen Jedi on a planet that we will be traveling to in the Ahsoka series. What do you guys think? Are these two destined to become wolves on Lothal for all time? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I have spoken.